Hey guys, it's Miranda here at Sunshine and Grace. Today we are making Sweet Infinity Notebooks. That's these little guys. They, I apologize, there is a typo on my materials list. But you use six beautiful, lovely images all joined together with washi tape that fold up and you can flip them over and you have six writing spaces on the back side. Or you could alternate and do one side forward and one side backward if you want. We may do that actually, I hadn't thought of that. And it has a title and some decoration and pretty things. They're very, very simple and very, very sweet. So we're going to, uh, you're gonna need not four. You can do it with four, but I'm doing it with six. Same size images. Mine are approximately three and three quarters by three inches. Printed double-sided on cardstock with a backgrounding print. It's just one of the background pages from a kit. This is a kit, um, Rosie Blooms by Rachel and Bella Crafts, um, that I did a design team project for last year, or a few months ago or something like that. Um, you're also gonna need washi or you can use lace or ribbon for the seams I have done all three you're gonna need some lace to trim it out with some words to make the thing scraps to embellish it that was the uh, lace inside and stuff and around the uh, title ribbon for the closure we're using this you'll see it yeah okay I'm gonna sit down now you guys can get your screenshot moment while I do that and I'll get this out of the way we'll get going okay I have my pictures already printed out and you can see they are absolutely gorgeous um so what you do is you look at all your pictures you kind of decide how you want them to be in the kit i'm thinking this time i'm gonna put her on oh i don't know I really like her too hmm i think i want her on the front and i think i'm gonna use her for the back so i'm gonna put these in the middle you're also going to need your glues i'm using beacon three and one scotch create possibly art glitter and i've got my ink i didn't have it on there because if you like my backgrounds are a little dark so i am going to cover them with just white pieces of napkin that I tore up so um and i think i am going to do like i said and alternate these one side you know like one on one and I think that'll give a little bit of variety and prettiness to it. So, like that. Okay. So, we're going to start. You're going to lay them out the way you want them. You want to take your washi tape and roll a good bit out. Might as well just save yourself the work and do a good bit now. And take something and lay on it. We're going to lay our bone folder on there. That'll help hold it in place while we do this next part, which gets kind of tedious. Okay. So you want to take your first card, your cover card, and you want to line it up halfway across the washi, and, but not all the way to the bottom. Do you see how that's not all the way to the bottom? The reason for that is that way we can wrap it around and get a full wrap. Now put your next piece on. Line it up, just let it kiss up to it, and push it down on there. Okay, now take your whole thing and flip it. And I have found that by doing that, I actually get the neatest come down. And I can kind of control so that that line sort of stays in the center. It didn't go in the center, so before it's stuck too tight, we will uh, try to peel it up. Oh, okay. It's not going to work this time, is it? I did these like six times yesterday. 
work like a charm every single time but not this time okay so just flip it over and try again that one's better yeah that looks better press it now you know you need about a finger's width so come behind that and cut I'm using a very strong washi that does not need um, extra glue and you just fold it up your first one's done okay pull more washi out and repeat for each of the pages I think I messed up guys I did okay we'll have her for the cover <laughs> even though she wasn't supposed to be the cover it's okay let's just flip it this way well, I guess actually I could do hers the cover yeah we'll just flip and do hers the cover that'll look really good there anyways me too I'm so used to talking to my guys which they both abandoned me this evening my husband said he didn't feel good so he went to bed and my son's like, oh, I, I got logging to do. He plays logging. I think it's actually Farm Sim. But they have a logging something mod on there or something that lets them use logging equipment. And since that's something he has actually been considering as a career, it's kind of win-win. But, yeah, he took off to do that. They kind of left me to myself, and I'm like, hmm, it's not even 7 o'clock. I guess I'll uh, catch up on a few things, and then I will make videos. I have not been making as many videos lately. I started that new job a couple, I don't know, three or about four weeks ago. And honestly, it has worn me out trying to learn all the new stuff and keep up with everything okay they're all on there now now that i've done it i kind of want her to be my cover weirdly so what you're going to do is decide which way you want your book to go and you're going to fold it up that way and you're going to take your bone folder you're going to smash those seams down flat they're not going to go very flat yet but they eventually will flatten out if you're if it's really bothering you because they're floppy just do this each one and bone folder it individually and work your way through them that way and that'll kind of help them stick down So there's a big, yeah, I like her on the cover. I may change the book washi that I use though because no, I think I'll keep it. Okay. So now I want to take and cover all of these green pages. So did you guys have a good fourth Independence Day if you're in the States? Um, he did. My husband's dad came out to spend the day with us. It was nice having him out. He doesn't come out very often, so. Um, well, I guess he comes out maybe, maybe once a month. And then they go fishing together sometimes, and my son goes down and cuts the grass every week or so. But having him out to, you know, we did a cookout down by the creek, and um, that was nice. It was cool down there yesterday, so. 
Then we uh, came in and had homemade ice cream. It's like my thing now. It's homemade ice cream. Getting that kick every summer. <laughs> and make it like constantly. It tastes so much better though. You know what I mean? I mean, it's got like a different flavor to it and stuff. And it gets that weird like texture to it. Not like a, t yeah, it's kind of a texture. It uses like a thickness to your mouth. That I like that store-bought ice cream doesn't have. Okay. Those are down. I'm going to let them dry for a moment. I'll take care of any pilly-uppies that I find that are big like that one was. Well, I put a big old wrinkle in that. Let's see. Y'all might see Phoebe's around. She's Phoebe even. She got caught in the bedroom when Wayne went to bed. And then she... I guess realized she was stuck in there and she came to the door and was doing her squeaking thing. She has a meow. It's so weird. I mean, like our other cat, he was a meower. He meowed all the time. And I'm just going to leave those the way they are. I actually kind of like them. That rugged look kind of adds the vintage you feel. Okay, smush it again. Grab whatever ink you want to use and start inking. I am using Ranger Distress Ink and Walnut Stain. That wasn't what I wanted. I wanted the gathered twig that's still laying over there. But it's okay. I don't guess it matters. This actually looks kind of good, so we'll go with it. And then you just ink around all the edges. Like that. You probably want to avoid the washi itself could ink before you put the washi on. I just think it's easier to ink as little as possible. So I just ink the parts that need it. And really the ink just kind of gives a cohesiveness to it and kind of helps it all blend together. And here my kid, I just think ink looks good. And I love these pictures. Rachel did such a good job on this kit. Both the uh, pictures and the background page came from the kit, Rosie Blooms. I believe that's, it's Rosie Blooms. I'll link it if I think of it down in the comments section of this video. Because I do think it's a beautiful kit. I am taking part in her July challenge or collaboration this time. It is the A to Z of summer summer crafts, I think it is. I'll link that down below too. And I've got the playlist up on my channel. Um, she's we're just all she gave everybody a letter for the their day, and you pick a inspired summer crafts is what it is. Um, you pick someone who has inspired you and you do a video, your take of one of their videos, and then you have to uh, somehow work your letter in. My letter is T, and I am doing torn envelopes, and then I have a spin I'm going to put on that of why I chose the word torn. And I'll do mine. My day is the, uh, I believe it's the 28th. 23rd I think is what my day was I've got two collaborations I'm also doing the Christmas in July with KJ Crafts and um, I have two design team projects coming up so July is packed I am so excited to be still on the Lavender Blue design team and also to now be on Antonio Makes okay, and here's why it doesn't matter if your page is a little ratty you're going to ink over all those to give a little interest. Okay, that might need some glue because that's really ratty. And what you do is you just take a little. I do mean, oh, our glitter glue makes me nervous with napkin. It can go really crazy on you. And then just ink it. I feel like that's a little, little loosey goose too. 
So I'm going to just hit it and try and see if that will do any better. I think that did better. And you can see how that kind of then ages all that in so that it doesn't look so, um, you know, if it's a little ratty, it's okay. Because that looks intentionally ratty. Like it's old and peeling. And I think it just kind of makes it blend in better. Okay, that's all done. Okay, we want to decorate this edge. I am just using this lace right here. It has not even been opened yet. Basically, every time I go to the dollar store, this is like my favorite go-to lace. Well, okay, that's not doing what I wanted. Okay, there it is. This is my favorite go-to lace, so I just buy like a roll of it every time I'm in there because it's pretty full. It's got like a little bit of chunkiness and, you know, kind of holds up, but also is very delicate and pretty and crocheted. So, okay, we're going to take and work our edge a little bit. And then I want to take and just use alcohol sprays on it in a couple spots. I'm going to do that in my trash can. And my hands will be peach here in a second. And blue. Because that's the two colors I'm using. Where's the blue? There's the blue. I'm spraying both sides because you'll be able to see both sides of it. Okay. There's that. Isn't that pretty, you guys? I mean, seriously, it turned out so cute. It's already pretty much dry. My fingers look like Smurf fingers, but that's okay. Stay down there. You want your fabri -Tac. My fabri -Tac is kind of crazy looking. Let's clean that off. Okay. Get the glue off your finger. And take and spread just a little tiny bit right along that edge. Like that. And you want to smush it with your finger so you don't have big gobby glues. Nobody likes a gobby glue. And decide which side you want up and down. You might put this one this way and just line it up where you want it and smush it in. I want both holes to be on the uh, paper, so just the edge is showing. Oh, my lens, you guys. It's perfect. Oh, my lens, it's perfect. It is absolutely the exact colors. That blue, especially. Oh, my lens. Okay, I'm loving it. And there's what it's going to look like on the other side. Okay. Now you want to take and put your bling on. I'm starting to go sparing with this. It's getting very low. So I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of glue right there. And work that onto it carefully. Let's go a little wonky and it's on okay there's that isn't it turning out so pretty you guys oh yes i love this okay i need a word or a phrase or something i think what we're gonna do is use the word light This, and then we're going to tear this off. It says make way for the new. Actually, we may leave that. Make way for the new light. Move the light down like that. 
this that I was working on earlier, I'm going to tear just a little piece of it off. On these pages, I took lace and ran either across the top or down along the bottom. So what we're going to do is go ahead and do that. And we know there's six of them, so we need six pieces of lace. will be the sixth one okay and on these we're gonna also dye them a little bit so I'm just gonna hold them all in my hand and spritz them okay and you can see they're colored okay so we're gonna glue them kind of like that on these pages I'm gonna start with the top because the ones on the top are the ones I like the best. I don't know why. I just do. I like to ratty these edges a little bit. So if you see me kind of taking time to do that, that's, that's why. I just think it looks good. Glue it on. I forgot to smush it so you can kind of see the glue in there. It's okay. There. Yeah. Hmm. I'll glue this one along the bottom. Smush. Too much glue. Wrap it on your hand. He's fine. He's fine. I think I like that one. Okay. It's already kind of ratted. I'll make it a little more so. There. That one's glued. Okay. There's those. glued on. Now let's take our paper which is dry and very ratty and rip it down some so that we can use it to make a title plate. It's still too big so let's tear it down a little more. Let's take the light Oh, you guys, it's going to cover those pretty flowers. Let's try it over here. I may just use a little tiny piece behind this instead of the bigger piece. I'm just working off of the camera here, trying to get this lined up on my desk. Okay, yeah. I don't think I need that much of it. There, just a little texture. And then we'll kind of put it over like this. You don't want it to come actually off of this page because you need it to be stuck firm. If you get too much glue on, just wipe it off. And we're going to put make way for the new. So we want to move all of that down just a hair. Okay. And then put our glue on this. Guys, I apologize. My throat is feeling just like a little bit, um, like froggy. And so talking's kind of, I don't know, it's like, oh, not froggy, like my sinuses are burning. So my voice is like getting funny sounding. At least to me. Okay. Make for the way for the new light. And we want some bling.
and thicken that like that. Okay, let that dry for just a split second. And we'll grab our ribbon that we're going to use to tie it with. I don't know why I wanted to use this, but I don't know. It just kind of spoke to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and literally just tie this in just a knot. Like so. Not a tight one. Just leave it loose. And there it is. She's done. What do you guys think? So here at Sunshine and Grace, I love making videos showing you guys how to make beautiful journals and ephemera like this little beautiful infinity notebook using inexpensive items, whether you're a beginner or been making journals for a good bit now. I hope you'll join me as I share tips, tricks, and hacks along the way, usually a little bit of Jesus too. My creations are my way of working out what God works into me through his word I couldn't do any of this without him or you guys. I love y'all and thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. It means so much to me. If you found this video valuable, be sure to hit the like button and drop a comment below to let me know what you think or how the project turned out for you. I love to see your all's bakes over on social media. It really makes my day. And if you do make a video of it, tag me or, uh, you know, whatever. You know, let me know. Now I will be sure to follow your channel and uh, check that video out because I, I really do love to see your all's work. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to get notified when I put out new videos. Y'all, we don't even have a schedule anymore. So just, you, know, you want that bell, okay? Because I'm dropping videos like random times for the time being until I can get things squared away better. Um, before I go, I just want to remind y'all, Jesus loves you so much he died for you. If you've not trusted that fact, then I'd urge you to do so today. Because nobody's promised the next second. Whether you know it or not, you're going to live forever. Either upstairs or down. Trust me, you want to go up. So if you've not trusted the gospel of your salvation, then I would love to tell you about my precious Savior. Tell you the greatest love story ever and get you settled for eternity right now. If you've got any questions about anything at all, projects that I make, your eternal state, you need prayer, you just want to talk, get a hold of me. You can find me my social media links in the description box below and also in the channel right up above. And you can always just drop a comment and it'd be my joy to answer. Y'all have a great day and we'll chat soon. Grace and peace. Bye-bye.